Bad news. My uh, father's had a heart attack. He's in Wellington Hospital. Oh, no. I had to come and see you. Explain. You are charged that on the 22nd day of October 1997, murdered Annabelle Georgina Lustwick. How do you plead? Not guilty. I know I haven't been a good father. But you haven't been any kind of a father. We've run tests on my other children. None of them can give me a kidney. Are you asking me to do that again? No, I'm asking you to save my life. Tiff! Tiffany! Water, yes? Okay, you two, what's going on with this divorce? Dad? You're okay. Well, he couldn't have picked a worse time. There's only one place I want to be right. With Caroline, don't I? You've got to fight this, Tiff. I can't lose you. I love you. You should be with her. I'm ready to sign those divorce papers now, Lionel. Hold on! Bird strike! I've got someone that I want you to meet. This is my wife, Mavis. Joe said you were an ambulance officer. What a coincidence. Our daughter. I got her as quick as I could. Oh, you poor old thing. How are you, Dad? On the count of murder, do you find the accused guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you all agreed, members of the jury? Yes. We're going down. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Joe Rungy, and this is my mum, Mavis. You two know each other? Uh, you could say that. We work together. Oh, my. Are you taking Dad for tests or something? No. Look, you don't have to go, Rangy. It's, it's... I know. Uh, I've... Uh... Don't tell me you guys know him. Excuse me. How? Where, where did you meet? Oh, Donna. Something I should have told you all a long time ago. Years before I met your mum, I was married. We had a son. Rennie. Oh, I know it's a shock, Lum. Heck, it was for me when he turned up. See, I, I'd, I'd lost touch. Not that she wanted anything to do with me anyhow. I was a bit of a scoundrel back in those days. Till your mum came along. I wish you'd told us. But it's not such a bad thing, is it? Another brother, well, half-brother. Yeah. Someone you know, even. Yeah. And there's more. Yeah. Rangy's a compatible donor. He could save your dad's life. Everything. You watch? Oh, of course. Silly me. I forget I'm wearing it half the time. It's funny. I never realised I wore so much jewellery. Christy?
Tschüss. I can't believe it. It's an insane decision. Anyone who knows Caroline. Yeah, well, my testimony didn't help. Going on about how cheerful Annabelle was, how she'd ruled out suicide. You only said what you believed. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure now. Maybe she was just putting on a show. Well, I'll be an appeal and you'll get a chance to say that. I'll change the testimony I gave under oath. That'd go down like a lead balloon. As does your procrastination about returning to work. Oh, look, I've got a huge backlog at my clinic. Let me just get through that and I'll get back to you. You're here now. I need to pick up a textbook. Look, Frank, I've been really patient with you over this. Last week you said a couple of days. I'll let you know. When? I promise. When? Hi, mate. You crook? I'm fine. Yeah, obviously. Why don't you sit down for a bit? Look, I said I'm fine. Christy! Oh, thank God. We're alive. Uh, indeed we are. You not hurt? I don't think so. Are you? Uh, Spence is pretty good this one. Where are the others? Is she dead? Bad news. Latest bloods. They're still deteriorating. Nitrates, ammonia and the outclotting times right out. Then your first priority is to reverse the alkalosis. I've charted KCL with the IV fluid. You've got her on a restricted fluid regime. And we're monitoring for cardiac overload with CVP and urine measures. And the clotting times? Will be revised hourly. Oh, any sign of internal bleeding will be onto it. Everything okay here? No, not good. Caroline, what happened? Some cloth. Uh, tear that one into biggest strips. You're not going to try and take it out, are you? No, I could bleed more. It's bandage. Try it for size. Oh, I get it. Um, to lift his leg up. Are you ready? Are you? Yeah. Say bye-bye, Joanna. And Beth. And Celia. And Dick. I never slept with a dick. Only one star. Poor Dick. That's Deb. Poor Deb. Hey, you mind there? No way. Say bye bye to Stevie. My one and only. Hey. Thought it was. Light her up. Bye, Stephen. Hello, Cam. He's nothing. It's just panics and feels for miles. Is he okay? Yeah, he's bearing up. They'll be looking for us soon. I'll stake the fire. Are you okay? A bit hot. Here, take your jacket off. No, she's right. Why not? Why not look this blood on your shirt? Oh, it's the other guys. You haven't got a uh, penny. Let me yeah. have a look. No, I just need to lie down for a minute. Uh, oh, oh, my God! Oh, oh, it's, just, it's just a scratch. Don't worry. Lionel, don't worry. It's a huge piece of glass. Why didn't you tell me? It's... Lionel. Lionel, please don't faint on me now. I need you. Lionel, I don't know what to do. Lionel!
okay? You okay? What can I say? Nothing. I don't want to talk. Neither of you could have guessed that you were going to. Look, I just know how horrible this must have been for both of you. Horrible? You know? You think you have the slightest idea how this feels? No. Then I don't. Don't even try and understand. You couldn't. Sorry. So what are you going to do? I don't know. But you, you have to promise to keep this a secret. Oh, of course. I mean it. My dad is sick enough. If he knew that Rangi and I had been, but he'd kill him. I'll have those on the beach, second palm to the left, thanks. Certainly, madame. Will there be one bronze tank or two? Mm, I wish. All on tap in Fiji. You been there? I found the man of my dreams, too. Mm, a romantic. Tell me more. Nick! This is totally mega-sensitive, ultra-confidential stuff. Well, look. Now you've got the whole bar watching. I need to know about night protection. Get off. Go to a chemist. No, 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 not that kind. Like mace sprays and those little whistle siren things. Makes sense now or you're leaving. It's Mum. She thinks she's being stalked. Really? Tell her to go to the police. Well, I can't. She reckons it might be I.S. Is? Ian Seymour, stupid. Oh, of course. Think I me. He's only bunked down somewhere in Argentina by now. Mum thinks he's still here. Come on, Nick. The man may be deranged, but he's also very smart. Hanging around here is not very smart. It's just plain deranged. True. I think. Look, Jean has had a huge fright. An attack like that can be really upsetting. It does strange things to your head. So where'd you learn how to do this wizzy bandage thing, huh? No. Come on, Lionel. That's no kind of answer. You stay with me now. You stay awake. There's going to be help soon, Lionel, I promise. I promise. I promise. Just hold on. Stay with me, OK? Stay with me. Hey, you know that theory you had about that dude? Yes, Nick? Well, you are definitely 100% out wrong. You got proof? Well, no, but he'd be battier than a bat if he hung I around. I have it. What's that? The security tape. One way or another, we'll find out for sure. isn't it? You always imagine them to be so dark and dingy. I guess that's American TV for you. Few rules, but the girls managed to make them quite homely. It's all in there. Thank you. Would you like a cup of tea? You're allowed to do that? Just this once. That'd be lovely, thanks. They're gonna find us soon or the trees will get it. But they'll find us soon, I promise. And when this is over, Mr. DIY Thirsty Ada Skeggins, you owe me a whole new wardrobe. You got that? You hear that? It's a bike. Yeah. How are they? 
Well, Kirsty says she's fine, but Lionel's in work at a hospital. Was it serious? He's got a piece of glass in his stomach. He's in the theatre. Oh, no. I heard about that plane going down, but I never dreamt those two would be on it. Well, why were they? They were racing the jury back. They wanted to be here for Caroline. So did you tell Kirsty the verdict? Hmm, I had to. You can imagine how she took it. Yeah. And there's Caroline. This is the last thing she needs. I don't think we should tell her, at least not until we know that Lionel's on the mend. OK, I'll put the word out. Ta. Gee, I'm on my way to you now. Not to the prison? Yeah, I've jacked it up with a lawyer. Poor Chook, she's gonna be needing a toothbrush. Oh, I hate those places. Been a while since I've been in one. She'll be really pleased to see you. Yeah, better get a wriggle on. Oh, and I'll get on to Waikato, see what I can find out. Ta, I'll give you a ring later. OK, and give her my love? Goes without saying. Alan, I need to discuss patient transfer. Sorry? Joe Bennett, I think we should transfer him to Central. Oh, what's the urgency? Well, he's stable enough and the renal team know him there. I just think it makes more sense if they treat him. Oh, uh, maybe. What if he deteriorates? He'll need dialysis. No, oh, we can do that here. I know, but the family have personally requested it. Really? Yeah. They live closer to Central and Mrs Bennett doesn't drive. Well, what didn't you say? I'll get on to the doctor first thing. Amoxicillin. Is that the best antibiotic you can come up with? Of course, after seeing me, it is the Yeah, in your training, maybe you should be using a careful asporin. You think? Haven't you read the stats on the increase of resistant E. coli? Yes, but I don't want but to. But nothing it should be your first concern. And what is that supposed to say? Lachimose. You're worried about constipation? It is also used to promote acidification in the intestinal lumen, which reduces ammonia levels. Oh, I see. These are the latest results. Excuse me. I'd say your little potpourri of drugs isn't making a blind bit of difference, wouldn't you? Tiffany's condition may not be improving, but neither is she deteriorating. Well, that might be good enough for you, Doctor, but it's not good enough for me. Your approval is not my concern. I am here to do the best for my patient. Look at her! If that's your best, she hasn't got a chance! Don't worry, your lawyer will get you an appeal. What's the point? Plenty. You tell the truth, Moira. Annabelle was my best friend. I loved her. That's my only defence. I still chose to believe I was capable of hurting her. Yeah, but another jury might see it differently. Why? They didn't know Annabelle, didn't know about us. <sighs> Stupid money. I wish she'd never left at me. Bet she's cursing herself and all. But we have got to concentrate on getting you through this. Prison survival kit. Oh. Some pictures of the Chrissy do in there. Oh, thank you so much. I'll keep digging. Do not remove from receipt. Yeah, well, have you seen the price of magazines these days? Oh, I suppose I can turn a blind eye this once. Yes, but you won't be able to those. Tad on the bright side, but I thought your room could handle it. They're gorgeous. But I'm not sure I'll be allowed curtains. Well, I should know. I earned myself a bit of a reputation as an interior designer when I was inside. Oh, that reminds me. You've got to get a job in the library. It'll be more stimulating, and I've checked it's closest to the kitchen. The kitchen? Yeah, so you can get to the lunch first while you can still recognise it. How many ways can you disguise bread and water? Oh, fried bread and French toast, pork buns with bread sauce. Well, I'd buy bread and butter pudding. You're on to it. Maybe we should get you a job in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Consolidated right middle and lower lobes, yeah? Grips on the left, too. The amoxicillin's taken care of that. Well, obviously it's not. Yeah, how many doses has she had? Four. 24 hours worth. We'd know by now. We should be using keftriaxone. Well, we could give the amoxicillin time to work. Uh, in most cases, either drug would be fine. Yes. But in light of Tiffany's profession, it's likely she's come into contact with resistant organisms. Which indicates the use of a cephalosporin. I'll make a change. Uh, just wanted to be sure. By the way, unless we see some progress in the next 12 hours, we could find ourselves ventilating. I'm onto it. Uh, can you stick around? Oh, I can't, but I'll come by later. Thanks. Are you in contact with your parents? I called them this morning. Are they coming up? 
Uh, not sure. I think it'd be wise. Nick! I don't think you should watch this. I'm fine. Now, but you're about to see yourself being beaten to a pulp. Who knows what kind of weird effects that could have on someone? I'll take the risk. Ow! Why didn't you kick him in the nuts? Shh. Ian. Let's see. Come on, look at the camera. Couldn't even pick him in a lineup. It's Ian, look. Same height, same build. He even moves the same way. What, the way he throws a punch? It's him. It's got to be him. Sorry, can't see it. Why did he run away then? I don't know. Maybe he's one of those bashful hero types. Or maybe he didn't want to be seen. So he was just, like, hanging around the car park on the off chance that he might come out and get mugged? Of course not, but maybe... He was a complete stranger. This proves zip, Mum. <sighs> Sure. Go away, Uffy. I said. Don't answer any phone. So. Don't you come in here. Rungy, I feel just as sick. Just leave it, will you? So I've got to make sense of this. Shut up. I've been going crazy. I Wait, said shut up. What are we going to do about just it? Just shut up. Where are you going? Rungy, don't be stupid. You can't drive. You're drunk. Don't you touch me! Okay, just please don't drive. Rungy! Hey, give me the keys. I'm not letting you get in that car. Give me the keys. Please don't make this worse. Give me the keys, I'm all right! What? Before you help me? Well, go on then, do it! 